in the previous video you have seen the arc parse module now i assume that you know how to use command line argument with arc parse module in this video i am going to show you rest of the arguments of add argument method we will see choices required metaver and dest argument i think you are familiar with this code so now i have used button as positional argument and choices is like a list which contains predefined number of arguments options you can see options so like share and subscribe are our op options predefined number of options so if arc button is there then it will show the arc button let's run it choices like you pressed like choices shared you press share button choices comment now we are getting the errors because comment is not a part of predefined number of arguments let's proceed to the next code in this code i am using short option and long option Sing double hyphen signifies the long option and single hyphen signifies the short option let's run this code python program name minus m and option so i'm getting mohit means long option so let's use long option in command line still i'm getting long option in namespace in the help i am getting long option in upper case stripping the hyphen double hyphen now let's see dest argument here i have set dest equal to mohit let's run it so i have used minus m short option but in the namespace i am getting mohit that's okay same as previous but if i use mohit as a long option our interpreter will not allow this one so you can see we are getting error so in this way we can only use short option but in the namespace i am getting the value represented by the dest argument if you don't specify dest argument in that case the value of dest is normally estimated from the option string argument parser generates the value of dest by taking the first long option string and stripping away the initial hyphen hyphen string if no long option strings string were supplied dest will be derived from the first short option string by stripping the initial hyphen character now let's see metaver argument here i have specify metaver equal to mohit metaver used for just for displaying purpose just for displaying purpose now let's run the code python program name option minus m so i'm getting game here so i'm getting the command line argument let's display the namespace args now i'm getting here short option m in the help i am getting mohit means metaver just for displaying purpose but the reality in the namespace we are getting the short option now let's change the name i am using hello string here after running this one i am getting hello metaver is very useful for some purpose like i am using two argument two 
option here so i am displaying what is the purpose of first option and what is the purpose of second option now i am giving minus m and two option so here i am getting a list so consider if i display help now i'm getting first and second so you can display what is the purpose of first option and what is the purpose of second option now let's see next argument required consider if i run this one previous program dest python dest1 i'm getting none here Okay, so this is optional argument minus m. If I use required equal to true, it means that I have to give this option. Otherwise, our interpreter will throw error and it is throwing error. You can see this one. Now, if I define something, yeah, now I am not getting any error. So this is about the arc parsing module. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video very useful, please share this video and subscribe our channel. In the next video, I will show you how to use subparser.